Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, back today in the tour van at Second Swing Minnetonka, joined by Cam Root today with the Mizuno STG Fairway Wood. Um, Cam, this is a, a low spin option here from Mizuno, the STG driver designed for that low spin, maybe the more skilled player. So we will probably see a lot of the same traits here in the Fairway Wood. Um, but when you take a look at this thing, you can kind of see a little bit of some resemblance to some other three woods out there. So. Uh, what do you see when you first look at this one? Yeah, I mean, right when I saw it, I thought Sim 2 Titanium was kind of first thought in my head there when I saw the kind of the back end of it mm -hmm. here. Um, but it's got a good clean look to it, you know, a little bit smaller profile, just like the driver. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to hit it. Yeah, I think you, you look at that 80 gram stainless steel sort of plate. Um, it is resemb it resembles that, that tailor-made kind of design to it, but the, uh, the purpose is basically just to give you that performance, right? It's you know, the center of gravity is low, but also forward with that thing, with that weight forward there. Then that design helps you with the low spin, helps you with control as well. And then the player also that likes to work the ball can do so with this club. Um, in addition to, you know, the Cortec chamber right behind the face, stabilizes it, a little more forgiveness. Um, and like we said in the driver video, Mizuno Woods have come a long ways. I know you were impressed right away with the driver. And so I'm excited to see what happens here with the fairy wood. Um, a lot of good stuff to be excited for with this one. And um, as we mentioned, not the adjustable sliding weights on the back, but you do have the hosel. So yep. as a fitter, I think right away, this is still a contender for a player that might be looking for a low spin option, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So we'll hit like eight to 10 shots here. We'll see how we're how the swing's feeling. I have no doubts about your game, though, having watched <laughs> you hit the drivers, but we'll hit eight to 10 shots. We'll get Cam's feedback on the look and feel, and uh, we'll do some more deep diving on the STG. So are you ready to do this? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, look at that. The low riser. <laughs> a little, the little low on the face, yeah. but... Uh... I thought that might be the case because <laughs> I did see that. It hit the screen a little bit low there, yeah. but... Honestly, you're going to take that shot, though. I mean, it's a yeah. spin went up a little bit as it would yeah. with that, but that would sound a lot more solid. Yeah. There oh, yeah. Go. Look at that. Wow, that's a really good ball. So now you've got, I guess, <laughs> you got maybe a slight miss hit, and then you've got one that it looks like you hit really well. So yeah. after two swings, you know, talk to me about maybe the, the feel of that club. Yeah, no, I mean, it feels good. It feels hot off the face, Yeah, um, which I like because um, like the ability to hit a three off the tee mm -hmm. here and there on par fours if you have to. And right. so um, definitely something that uh, maybe not just going for par fives on. Sure. There's another really good one. I'm, I'm liking how, I, by the way, zero feet of curve, that's kind of, that's tough to do. Um, I'm liking initially how, when you hit the ball solid, how high that thing gets off the ground, e you know, mm -hmm. easy to see, seemingly to launch that ball, get it to 100 plus feet in the air, and then you're spinning it in a comfortable range too. Yep. See if uh, maybe work one left or right here. Okay. I like that. Oh, I love the helicopter finish too. <laughs> I got to work real there hard. There it is. <laughs> Look at that. Over 100 feet, that's a, that's good. So I mean, clearly you can. I mean, again, that's only one. Sh that's only one swing, but you can clearly work this club a little bit, yeah. whichever way yeah. you want to. I got to work real hard to get it to cut, but uh, <laughs> it's there. Well, hey, clearly it can it can help. The club can do it though. Yeah. Yep. You put the right swing on it, it'll happen. Oh yeah. Look at that too. Now back to the high draw. Yep. What uh, what do you play right now for a for a three wood? TSR three. TSR three. So, okay, so you're driver and just like wood. the driver. Okay. Yeah. Is that actually that's actually a good question. Um, it's a we're kind of going on a tangent here a little bit, but um, you know, as a you know, with your fitter experience, would you recommend players go with driver and, and fairy wood, sort of the same models if they if they have that opportunity? Yeah, I mean personally, I've always done it because I like to look at the you know I like the look of the driver and the fairway being the same. Yeah. It just makes me feel a little more comfortable. Um, but it, it's player dependent for yeah. sure. Okay. Um, you know, I know a lot of good players that play a different model driver, yeah. uh, different manufacturer driver, fairy wood mm -hmm. hybrid, and they're just fine. So um, definitely player dependent. Um, but me personally, I like to kind of keep the woods the same. Yeah. And actually, with that said, as the when we tested the STG driver before this, do you think the driver and the three wood are a good kind of 
dual threat in the bag, if you will? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I would like pairing them. Um, if I went to the driver, I'd probably go to the three with two. Yeah. And uh, at least looks wise, it, it looks very similar to a okay. TSR um, with kind of the black finish on top, yeah. kind of the shinier traditional look. So it, it kind of feels right at home for me. Sure. That a slightly low face, maybe? Yeah, a little bit lower the face. Okay. Uh, open face a little bit too. I'm just looking at that. Uh, just looking at that spin. Does it went up a tad, and that was kind of my theory on it. But yeah. even if that is a miss, it's you could. You know, there's worse misses to, ha to hopefully have. find it. Kill the spin. No, it took off then. Is there a is there a number you typically play two with your three wood? Yeah, I mean, stock-wise, probably around 270 Okay, um, is kind of where I'm at. Um, but uh, pretty happy with the numbers. Yeah. Yeah, I think, and that's, I think we're talking about a player that, if you're going to play an STG, like you mentioned earlier, it's probably a, a player that also, actually might even use this more off the tee than off the turf, right? Because a lot of times, these players have a little bit more speed. Very few times are they going for a par five and two with a three wood. It's probably a small, even less right. club than that. So, right. if anything, they're probably laying up on a, you know, maybe a skinny tee shot on a par four yeah. or something like that. Yep. Look at that. I mean, that's a 250 four carry with a high draw. And again, I think, you know, I think a lot of people also see on, you know, on TrackMan, we have it set up where you're kind of bounding on a firm fairway is what it has it set at. But hypothetically, if you're hitting this club onto a soft green, mm -hmm. probably, you know, doesn't roll out 21 yards like it's showing on there. So, right, right. Um, so let's, uh, what I'm going to do is actually, because we've, we've got eight shots up there, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and I'll almost, what we can do is take the best seven shots. So maybe we can take you in this one out of there. And then we can see sort of a, a good, I guess, representative of performance of this club. And so that's then a seven shots up there, seven good balls from you. Um, numbers right here. We've got, actually, this was also with the one shot where you kind of made sure to hit a cut. Yeah, so yeah. Um, 104 on the club speed. But that's plenty of speed for this club for sure. 152 on the ball speed. That's pretty darn good efficiency for a three wood. Um, and that spin kind of that's is that typically where you'd want a three wood with this speed a little over 3000 Yeah, I, I like to be kind of in that 3000 maybe 3500 kind of on the top end. Okay. Um, yeah Okay, and then a launch at 12. I mean Pretty good number 253 to 274 on the carry um, And then like we mentioned, you know your average you're averaging that high draw and then that was with a shot that you purposely cut it and yep. clearly you're able to hit both the shot both ways so um, and then there's that dispersion, pretty consistent there, really. I mean, you're, most of those balls, with the exception of this one, is sort of a, you're carrying it in the 250 to 255 range yeah. every time. Yeah. So I think a lot of players, with a three wood, you want consistency, you want something you can trust, because I think it, it is sneaky, a tough club to hit, especially off the deck, so. Yeah, yeah, never been much of a, a good three wood player, you know, kind of a little bit more of an up attack angle, so yeah. always done better with the driver than the fairway would, but, uh, it feels good. It looks good. Um, I like it. Yeah, I think. I mean, clearly the, the numbers and the performance was pretty good. Um, what did you think of the? I think we talked a little bit about the feel, but you know, is there a maybe a three out there to the comparison? Maybe compare the feel, maybe the one you have with the TSR three. Yeah, I mean, is like it softer, I softer, louder. You know, what do you think there? Yeah, look. I mean, well, looks wise, definitely reminds me of a Titleist. Yeah. Um, but feel wise, um, it's kind of in the middle. It's not super soft. It's not um, super clicky or firm off sure. the face either. Um, it's kind of got a, um, you know, kind of neutral feel to it in my sure. opinion. Um, but it's hot off the face. Yeah, no, definitely. Definitely is. Um, sweet. Well, that's really good testing here. I think uh, the viewers are already pretty intrigued. So let's, uh, let's wrap up with the final thoughts. All right. All right, Cam testing complete there. Um, really, explosive stuff I think from the STG um, you're able to hit your your kind of trademark high draw that you also showed in the driver video but um, you also took a stab at a high cut and that worked out really nicely so uh, I think the verdict here is that this club is 
playable. It's versatile, too, where you can hit multitude of shots. Um, and like you said, too, it's really hot off the face, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I love the look of it, love the feel of it. Um, it's hot off the face and uh, surprise, surprisingly uh, like the numbers a lot. So. And then, uh, of course, we got to ask, you know, who is this club for when Mizuno designed it? You know, what type of player are they going after with this STG? I think the, the lower handicap, right? Yeah. I'd say probably kind of that scratch to maybe six or seven handicap range. Um, you know, it, it's hot off the face. It gives you a lot of distance and uh, pretty forgiving as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually, I think you were maybe surprised a little bit by the forgiveness. Just and there was a couple of misses there where it actually kept up in that sort of range of distance that you maybe wouldn't have expected with a low spin head. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, left to right wise, it was fairly consistent, but then kind of like you're saying, the carry in, in total distance was kind of in that same range too. So you're not getting one that goes 280 and one that goes 240 really. So. Right, exactly. And I think, you know, three wood is a, is a tricky club for some players. You know, it's also one for, especially in this category where you're always, you know, some rounds you might hit it only a couple times, but it can be a very important club and a lot of times the most important shots of the round though those really important maybe three woods into a par five that you're really trying to go after for a birdie um they can be really important so the stg i think uh, another club stamp of approval here from cam and myself so um if you're interested in one for yourself or need a new fairy wood stg come get fit at second swing one of our experts will take care of you and make sure you're dialed in um, towards the end of 2023 or into 2024 so cam thank you sir uh great stuff today thank you